I wanted to do just one more example of using a decreasing time priority list to solve a time scheduling problem. Uh, so let's actually return to the prior example uh, and just see what happens when we use a decreasing time priority list on the satellite launch example. So in, in this example, we did two random priority lists generated by alphabetical and reverse alphabetical. But let's just see what happens if we do that. This is not on the packet, but you know, just as an extra example, if the previous one was a little bit confusing. Um, so here, our priority list would go C is the longest task, so that'd be first up. Then B and E are both, or sorry, A is six, which would come next. Then B and E are both five. Uh, and this would be a question of, well, which one of these would be better? So I'll, I'll go ahead and put B then E, um, but we can, we can kind of consider either way and see which one comes out better if we want. Uh, then D last of all. Um, and that would be our priority list. Uh, let's just go ahead and put B in front of E because I don't want to do anything unorthodox. Um, so in this case, uh, and usually I would suggest putting the tasks which are further forward in the digraph, further to the left first, and later ones second. Um, but anyways, that, that's why I would do B over E. Um, anyways, so first up would be C. So C is going to take seven hours. So C is going to be here. Um, highest priority, cool, seven. And I forget what colors I used last week. I'll just use red for C. Should be seven. And then A would come next, which is six. Uh, and I'll use green. And then now A is done. Um, B was already ready, so B is going to come next. Whoops. What did I just do? A is done, B is next, B is five, so one, two, three, four, five. Again, technically, E, and actually, if we were to put E forward, notice that E wouldn't be ready because C is not done. So even if I were to switch these, it's going to be the same answer in this case. So B is going to take five, which would put us at 11 hours. B shall be purple. Next up will be C is now completed. B is still in progress. E is next on my priority list, which is ready. So we can go ahead and do that. E for five, one, two, three, four, five, E. Should put me at 12. And then meanwhile, uh, processor two could then work on D, which is two, which would become ready because A and B were both completed. And notice that I actually get the same uh, time as we got when we did it last time uh, which we concluded was optimal then, but usually using a decreasing time priority list is a very fast way of coming up with a good order rather than just randomly uh, picking an order alphabetically or reverse alphabetically as we did in those prior examples. Cool.